it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today we are going to take a look in on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermibag Low Mammoth. It has been nearly a month since I have looked in on here for me. So let's take out the gnat trap here. I'm probably going to take the blanket off first. This is the current blanket for the winter to keep the moisture in. It's just a packing piece of foam. I cut that special for this, so it fits pretty good. Get the, get the worms off of the gnat trap and let's see what we've got here. All right, looks like they've been making a lot of castings. That's nice. So let's kind of, this looks like it might have been part of a melon. But let's just uh, turn things around and see what we've got. So this is part of, you know, even though you guys didn't notice an interruption in videos, I actually was gone for um, two weeks. And so it has been three weeks since I have looked in on these guys. The moisture looks pretty good. Um, I was trying to give them a good long time before I harvested, which is what I'm going to do later. Or before, depending on which order these get uploaded in. But you can tell the African Nightcrawlers love their carbon because they have just annihilated all of those Amazon boxes. I don't expect to find any food whatsoever, but we are still going to look. So we still see pieces of corn and mango pits and we decided to take out the tea bomb and tea bags as I remember. Um, so yeah, just looking around, made sure they were super wet before I left so that the, uh, the furnace kicking on wouldn't get them too dry. But yes, looks lovely when I go to harvest the bottom of this. I imagine I will have lots and lots of good castings. And hopefully a decent moisture level. Here's one of my Florida avocados that I'm trying to grow. Of course, I can't just look on one side and not the other. So we'll dig down in both sides, but yeah. I would be beyond shocked if there's any food left after four weeks. Okay, well, let's see. I'm going to make, probably should just put this all flat this time because I am going to harvest, which means it will all fall inward. I'm going to do something a little weird. Um, my son has given me some of his excessive, uh, I don't know, fish tank grass, whatever, whatever this is. So he's weeding his fish tanks and uh, the worms have been blessed with the leftovers. So we're also going to try doing that. So that's sort of an experiment. Uh, so it's fresh, fresh food. Not going to lie, I'm slightly concerned there's snails in here. But I uh, have no doubt this tank, you know, it, this will be fine. Then also, I have uh, kitchen scraps here. Got avocado and I don't know, something. Mashed potatoes, maybe. Yep, looks like mashed potatoes. And uh, in case anybody's, you know, going to ask, yes, very likely there is butter, some salt. I don't know. It's a pre-made mashed potatoes. You know, comes in a bag. So whatever comes in bag mashed potatoes, um, yes, that's what that is. Also, just as an aside for people who eat avocados, look at the size of this. Is that nuts? I really hope this sprouts. No, I don't know what I'm going to do with all my stupid avocado trees. But uh, I just like watching them grow. But get that all incorporated and let me get some bedding.
All right, that's almost all of my bedding with the exception of a little bit in the bottom that I keep for kind of a, start, a starter of the good uh, bacteria. Um, I'll probably use some of the castings from this to start the next batch of bedding for these guys. All right, well, there you go. That's the update for the African Nightcrawlers in the Vimry Bag Little Mammoth. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring the bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.